Hello and welcome to the first pre-recorded session of the Return to Dance Fitness Workout Program. Okay, so I'm Reese Borman. Okay, so the first, this is the harder sessions. Okay, so the week one of the pre-recorded sessions, the harder sessions. Okay, I have looked at the feedback, so I've slightly changed the order as well. The, we're going to do the same exercises and an added one as well. Okay, so what we're going to do... We are going to do the squats, the lunges, the ceiling touches, the leg raises. That's it. I'll go through each of the workout movements just prior to you doing them as well. I, and then we're going to go into the plyo jacks as well. Okay, so I've also made sure that when you're down on the floor, you are going to do some more exercise, or all the floor exercises are there as well. Okay, so the added exercise, okay, is going to be a V plank. Okay, the V plank, I will do it just shortly after the V sit. Okay, so the V plank, the V plank, let's show you the V plank. The V plank is basically going to be, and you hold it for the 20 seconds. Okay, so you butt on your bum, okay, legs are raised. The shoulders off the floor, and that is a V plank. Okay, so that is just after the V sit. I will go through each exercise as well. So we're just going to count it. So there's 14 exercises. We're going to, we are going to do 20 seconds, 20 seconds work, and then 10 seconds rest. Okay, so we go through it very, very quickly. I'll go through each one just before you do the exercises as well. Okay, so it's 20 seconds exercise, 10 seconds rest, and then I'll go through this session as well. Get all the, then go on to the plyo session as well. So we can go through one rotation. I know we did it twice. Okay, but if you do want to repeat it, you can. Okay, just rewind it as well. Okay, so we've got the first one, which is a squat. We're going to start, so again, the first thing, I'll show you the first exercise quickly, a squat, feet facing forwards, you're going down. Okay, your heels should not be coming off the floor, so you're going down the squat, all the way down as well. Okay, we're going to start as I press this. In five, four, three, two, one, and squat. Ten seconds left. Five, three, two, one. And stop. Okay, the next one is the lunge. You're going down. Make sure your knees are on the front of the toe. Then change it up. And we'll stay. Three, two, one. And go. Lunges. Okay, so you're doing a build of the core to make sure you've got greater balance as well. And stop there. Okay, next one is the ceiling touches. Go up and then down. Okay, here three, two, one, and go. Go up, then going down. So the reason why we're doing our core is because it allows you to maintain your balance when you are not off from the centre. Okay, go up. And down. Anytime there's any rotation in your trunk, that improves your core. And stop there. Let's see you in touch. Next one, okay, is the calf raises. This allows your gastrocnemius and tibial anterior to work. Starting now. Let's go calf raises up and down, up and down. And stop there. Okay, the next one, okay, is the elbow to knee crunch. Okay, so the elbow to knee crunch going to go up. And we can do this with floor and go. So again, this is rotation, but just under well, 15 seconds left. As you come in, there's a slight rotation in the core, in this midline, in the trunk, which allows you, because there's a slight rotation, it builds the strength in the middle to maintain your balance. 
and stop there. Okay, the next one is the leg raises. We go now to the down on the floor to do the leg raises. Three, this is the leg raises. Two, one, and go. So leg raises up there and down. Don't forget to breathe. Out, in, out, in. Or vice versa if you want to do it that way as well. Three, two, one, and stop there. Next one is the butter kicks. So you're going to go small kicks down here. Again, it lengthen the abdominals, okay, to maintain the consistency. And go. So you should be, as you're touching your abs, you should be feeling that your chest is like tightening as you're fluttering your kicks. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Okay, the next one, you guys, the V sit, the V sit, you yeah. up and down. Okay, again, control your breathing and go. Go go up, in, out, in, and out. As you go up, it's making you up to contract, going down. They relax, but then it uses your back muscles as well. And stop there. The next one, okay, is the V plank. So again, have your V and hold it. And three, two, one, and hold. So keeping your legs maintained, the shoulder off the floor, and just hold it. You feel, should feel, make, you should be feeling your legs getting heavier and heavier. The longer you hold it, you should now be then feeling your abs hurting quite a bit as well. And stop there. Okay, the next one, watch the other V sits, we're going to do the Russian twist. Now your legs up in the air, okay, rotating inside. And go, 20 seconds. Again, rotation causes your core to strengthen. Three, two, one, and stop there. Okay, next one is the press up. So we're going to do a full press up. Knees off the floor. Okay, nice and control down. And up. Three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Next one is the shoulder taps. Okay, turn over the plank, bloody elbows, push your bums up too high. Three, two, one, and go. So your bums should be too high or too low. You should be able to rest. So on your mat, that's spilling it. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and stop that. Okay, the next one is the shoulder taps. Okay, the penultimate one. Knees off, touching your shoulders, and go. And stop there. Okay. Turn to the dresser. We've got the dresser dips. One of them sit on the edge of the sofa. On the lucky bench. And go. Dresser dips. Make sure you don't go all the way down to the floor. Nice and controlled. Five seconds. And stop there. Have a minute rest. Okay. Then we're going to go into the plyer jacks. Oh, sorry, the plyer symmetric session. 20 seconds exercise, 20 seconds rest. If you want to do any more, you can. This is just a video. And also, I'm getting close to getting kicked out at school as well. Okay. So, we've got the jumping squats, jumping lunges, playing capers, fast tops. So do the same again. We are going to try the more extravagant 
double steps, in and out squats, the plyer jacks. Okay, we are going to then do the split lunges. Then we're going to some broad jumps, which we've not done before. What I want you to do, the broad jumps, broad jump, one eight to turn, broad jump, one eight to turn. Okay, and then the more steps as well. So we've got 10 seconds left until we start going again. Although probably going to be a little bit longer because I've got to make sure my phone is working. So 11 seconds, 20 seconds work, 20, 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. You ready? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, jump and squats. Let's go. Up, normal squat, and a jump into it. 15 seconds. How much light can we get? And stop there. So jumping lunge, this is your lunge. And then jump up in the middle. The reason why you do climb metrics, shorten the level of the muscles, create some power, which is what's needed in Morris dancing. Start in five, three, two, one, and go. Jump in lunges. Let's stop there. Next one is the plain capers. Like you do in field town. Finishing off the dance. One, two. Okay. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and go. And stop. Okay, the next one, bar stops. With the bar stops, you shouldn't be feeling much pain during it, but afterwards, you should be feeling your calf getting quite heavy and contracting quite a bit. First down your left leg, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Bar stops. Ten seconds. Make sure you're on the floor. Three, two, one, and stop. Now you should be feeling your calf contracting a lot in there as well. Ten seconds. Go and change your legs. Okay, should be feeling less heavier now. Five, four, three. Two, one, and go. So again, make sure you keep coming up as you come in. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Next one, we're going to do an extra good. Okay, what I would probably say is the hammer slip or a BB style, D double steps, and you go, one, two, three, pop, one, two, three, pop. Starting at five, three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, pop, one, two, three, pop, pop. And stop there, 20 seconds rest. Next one is the in and out squat. So you're going to go in and then out. In and then out. Bit like down the split cape you do in Bampton. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Down and up and in and out.
Hands up there. 20 seconds. First one, what if you need to? This one you're going to do is the fly jack. You go down and up. Okay. Move my mat quickly. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Ten seconds. And stop it. This one's is for lunges. Jump in. Up. Up. Starting over five seconds. Three, two. One, and go. And stop there. So I had a little bit of jumps in between to help me prepare as well. Next one, four jumps, one, two, three, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Jump, turn, jump, turn. And stop there. Next one. Last exercise. Unless you want to do any more. This is the van step. I'm going to do the van step. You can choose any more step you want to do. I'm going to be doing the van step to finish. In three, two, one, and go. And that's it. Okay, so that is the first pre-recorded session, okay, of the Return to Dance Fitness. They are going to progressively get harder over the next six weeks or five weeks to then lead you on to the next live session. So that's week one. Don't forget to do watch the cool down video to make sure you don't ache the following day. Hope you enjoyed the session and see you in the next video.